I was reading about some technology where they think they could take nuclear waste and convert it into batteries. I have not heard that one. See if you can find that. There was a process of uh, uh, processing nuclear waste and converting it into uh, a renewable resource. It's a nice thought. Great thought. Yeah. If the aliens could come down and give us some new tech. But as of what we have right now, you're not aware of anything that could do that? No, no. I mean, don't get me wrong. I think solar and wind, especially wind, are great in the places where they work. Here it says radioactive waste can be recycled to create diamond batteries. Scientists involved in American Startup for the development of nano diamond batteries are trying to turn radioactive waste into batteries. NDB is a perpetual green self-charging battery made from recycled nuclear waste isotope combined with layers of nano diamonds in a battery cell. Ex extremely good thermal conductivity of micro diamonds causes heat removal from radioactive isotopes, so the process of generating electricity is fast. NDB hmm. generates electricity similar to that obtained from solar panels, but uses radioactive decay energy instead of sunlight. An NDB battery usually consists of three main components, an isotope, a converter, and a storage unit. Due to the delay, d decay rather, isotope radiation is transformed into electrical energy in the converter. The storage unit accumulates energy for future use. We're problem solved, bro. Yeah, just keep in mind that this is radioactive decay and that's what turns you into goo. So you're not going to put this in your watch. You're not going to have it in your car. You're going to have it at a fixed, secured location. Now... Will that be like a power plant? Maybe, but wow, I hope nothing goes wrong. So these radioactive diamonds. It's a diamond layer over the waste, and then the waste is decaying, and then they conduct the heat somehow. In, so the, the decay is inside the diamond as right. long as the diamond doesn't get broken. I'm guessing that the diamond is there to absorb things like beta and gamma radiation. Hmm. But this, you believe, also very dangerous. Well, it's, it would require some very serious security issues, but at least from a chemical point of view, it sounds theoretically possible. The patented NDB universal self-charging battery provides a charge of up to 28,000 years of battery life. Yeah, the no life, more worried about your phones, yeah, bro. The, the, life, um, the half life of most of this stuff is in the thousands of years, so yeah, I guess technically that's true. Nano diamond batteries will be able to charge devices and machines of any size, from aircrafts and rockets to electric vehicles, hearing aids, smartphones, sensors, and more. <laughs> I'm going to go with a hard no on that one. Really? Why? Yeah. You're going to put something that is powered by radioactive decay in your ear? But, but is this uh, an oversimplification? I mean, if you were really well versed in this technology, do you think there's always possible? a chance that if you prevent me with the facts, I'm going to change my mind? But radioactive decay is not something you fuck with. You're certainly not going to have it on your person. So you think this is all just pipe dreams? I think in that interpretation, it's a pipe dream. Because you think about what would happen if, if this is real. And you can get a sizable one of these, like for a car. Mm -hmm. All it takes is a pickaxe, and all of a sudden, somebody has a dirty bomb. Jesus. Yeah. Having it in a secured location where it provides energy to a grid? Maybe. 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 Have a good security system. Yeah, but you don't, you, so you're not a believer. In, but you, are you just basing this on your instincts? I mean, do, do you think that you should maybe reserve judgment? Oh, no, 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 that, that's fair, but they did say specifically powered by radioactive decay of spent nuclear fuel. Right. That's what turns you to goo. And so you just think just because it's encased, this presents all sorts of damage if the case is broken. If the case is broken, yeah. anyone locally screwed. Yeah, so if you drop your smartphone and it starts leaking radioactive decay yeah, we all know pocket. that smartphones are indestructible so i'm not worried about that uh, <laughs> jesus peter you're a, you're i'm a an equal opportunity bubble pop you must be a real problem at parties mm -hmm. when someone starts talking i bring the bourbon everybody gets over it <laughs> <laughs> um so w if you were the king of the world mm -hmm. how would you w navigate us out of the situation Oh, like the whole thing, not just the nuclear waste issue? Well, let's start with the nuclear waste issue. Uh, we need a central repository where the stuff can be processed and the plutonium can be disposed of or at least incarcerated forever. That is the idea behind Yucca Mountain. But because the U.S. is a federal system with the state and the local authorities having as much power as the federal, it's been locked up in courts ever since it started. Because nobody wants that stuff in their neighborhood. Right, which is why we want to put it in Nevada because aside from Vegas, there's nobody in Nevada. Mm. Sorry, Reno. Sorry, Reno. So when you, 
if it was like if you did if somebody said hey peter how do we do how do we handle this what would be your steps well if you want to look at american history we'd probably put it someplace like guantanamo where american federal law doesn't apply I'm not saying I recommend that. I'm just saying that's the easy solution. Really, we need a place like northern Nevada that the federal government just buys and shoves it through. And if they did that, do you think that's feasible? I think that's the that's what other countries who have experienced this problem have done. There aren't a lot of them because most of the nuclear industries of the world are linked into the American system when we don't allow it because we don't want the plutonium processing. Hmm. So that's not really... Right. That would be the the best approach if you want nuclear power to be a meaningful part of our future. But it would take a radical restructuring of law. Right. And it would probably take Congress literally ramming it through the courts. They'd have to change the law so that the states can't fight it. And that triggers a legal fight, which in the United States, as we all know, we love to do. And the, the, but the conversation about nuclear has not been very positive in this country. No, it's not. We, we've only built one new facility in the last 45 years. 